How's it going everybody and welcome back to Cardboard Sim. So yesterday I posted a video um talking about the dual PC setup that I had going on. And as you can see it was success as far as the sim running smoother, but it was a fail at the the content of it, you know, the the output. It was just it was just bad. I mean it was only able to render at four eighty and I'm that's just not acceptable for me uh, there's no way that I can push out videos at 480p <laughs> um, yes I do know I need a better PC for the sim I know I know I know I'm working on it I'm working on it y'all uh, so right now I'm just working with what I have and that's what I've been doing everything if you watch my channel long enough you see that I'm really trying to do a DIY type of setup, you know, so I'm really just trying to push the envelope and just utilizing everything that I have for the time being because I do know that I'm going to drop a boatload of money um, into the PC. I'm not going to half step the new PC. I'm going all in. And so knowing that. Um, that's going to take some time to get that set up. So in the meantime, between time, this is what we're working with. So what I've done is I've I've dismantled that laptop um, and I brought OBS back over. So with that being said, I had to go back into the settings and dial back some more things. So I got it adjusted about as good good as I can deal with as far as you know um, scenery and levels and all and all that good stuff so I might have a little bit more room to play with if if this is still struggling um, hopefully it doesn't so we'll see how it goes so I'm out here in Sedona and um why i don't know i just picked a spot and decided to go go here try something different see some new scenery so we're just gonna fly around a little bit see how the sim works with everything and we'll bring it back in so sit back and enjoy I am not on the network right now. Um, I probably won't be on the network for a little bit because I want to, you know, finish getting things test out. And also, uh, I'm rewiring my my buttons over here. Um, so I want to have two push to talks: one for Vatsim and the other for discord i used to have that set up um but when i started dismantling things and doing things um the wires got kind of messed up so i'm in the process of resoldering those as well as i'm still debating on if i want to add the electric trim or just leave it you know manually on the trim wheel i might go ahead and run the wires and just have them there and if i want to i can always add them if not then i don't know we'll see I guess that's that's for another video. So, taxi lights, brakes released, and let's go. Well, actually, you know what? Let's pause for a second and let's get some. Nah, we'll skip that. Let's go.
always seems like my brakes are like set all the time. Like the plane just really, really struggles to move. It's weird to me. Take it all the way to the end today, I guess. See how she do. out here I must say you know it's crazy for six years out in South Dakota and uh, then I got stationed over in Germany and that's when I started working on C-130J models and became a uh, flying crew chief and I got to fly all over the world I mean I've always I've always had love for aviation prior to that but you know once I got to that point in my career where I was actually able to uh, fly you know it just made things even more you know crazy and 
So I did that for four years and got out. And then I drove trucks. I drove trucks over the road for seven years. And in those seven years, I cleared all lower 48 states. I mean, I probably had cleared all lower 48 in probably about three years. Um, and I mean, even driving, you know, getting to see the country for what it is on the ground that was that was an amazing um part of my life too you know and now i'm sitting here <laughs> in the sim and yeah it's not the real thing but it's close enough for me for now i would like to get my private pilot license eventually um But for now, we going to sim it out. And I must say, you know, even with Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 and its bugs, you still have to admit that the scenery is remarkable. And I mean, I don't even know what it really looks like when you're actually running, you know, 4K. I can only imagine what it looks like flying 4K. Um, and in time, I will. <laughs> so, I mean, even with this, uh, it's still, it's still nice. I mean, from FSX, you got it. You got to admit, this is a whole lot better. You know, and we can go back and forth and talk about um, X-Plane versus 2020. And, you know, which one flies better and blah, 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 blah. Hey, at the end of the day, it's a flight simulator. It is supposed to simulate flying. That is it. It's, it's, it'll never be the real thing. So, if you're an X-Plane guy, then hey, be an X-Plane guy. If you're a 2020, be a 2020 guy. At the end of the day, let's just enjoy what we do. And I mean, for me, I'm, I'm loving my journey with my sim. I mean, it's a lot of ups, a lot of downs, a lot of, I just want to throw the whole thing in the trash. <laughs> and then there's days where I don't want to get out of it. Um. So, yeah. But this is nice. Um, it seems right now that the sim is flying pretty good. For the settings that I've dialed in. So I think we're going to rock with this. Because like I said, I can't. I, there's just no way that I was going to be able to uh, give you guys content at 480p. That mm -mm. <laughs> that's just not happening. So I think we're gonna rock with this for a little bit. Yeah, I think we'll do this. I at least when I give you you know content, it could, it'll be shot in 1080. Cause this this seems to be doing okay. Mm -hmm. This seems to be doing okay. So it's nice out here, though. All right, so we're gonna start bringing this thing down and. Uh, Do I want to come in from that way? There was trees that way. Which I think I could probably still clear it. No. Well, 
We'll circle around and come back in the other way. So Sedona sits on top of a plateau. Kind of reminds me of Rapid City Airport. Just kind of sits up on top of a hill. And sometimes I think like, wow. As big as this place is, like, who, who would have thought, you know, it, it, it's like, if you can see, like, there's nothing around, and then all of a sudden, here's the city, <laughs> in the middle of nowhere, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah I think this is a lot better, guys. Y'all let me know. I think it is. This is shoot, this is even better than than the um the dual PC setup. I should have just dialed back what I had before. I think I got a little greedy. <laughs> That's okay though. At least I can say that my sim was built and not bought. Nothing against the guys that bought their sims, you know. But um, the journey of building a simulator, um, only those who have, uh, you know, tried and and actually have been successful or even in the process of doing it, definitely understands that um, it's it's not an easy task at all. It's not. It's it's a lot of it's a lot of work, um, and especially, you know, the, the learning phases of things and knowing how this works and that works and, um, you know, putting things together, having it make sense, and then now this don't work and that don't work, and adding this and taking that away. It's 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 a lot, but I love it. All right, first notch flaps. We're gonna bring this thing on in. Speed checks gear down. Speed checks. Next set of flaps coming in. Alright, flaps are down, gear is down, we got the runway.
these trees. I'm working on my landing, y'all. I think we'll get off right here. All right. Taxi lights on, landing lights off, flaps up. We are going to go, I guess we'll turn right here, because that dude is parked all crazy. And we'll just come back to where he was sitting at before. Nice looking detail right there. Guess we can park next to this guy. We are done. I think that turned out good. You guys let me know. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Cardboard Sim. Signing out.